my dear cancer hello how are you doing welcome to reading my name is sabbath welcome to sabbath tarot this reading is going to be for our cancer singles out there um for the month of june we're going to see what is the energy for you cancer we meet again for another cancer reading hey i had to shorten my nails because i have rehearsals coming up for my cello so i was like there's no way i'm keeping these nails <laughs> What is the energy for our Cancer single spirit? What is the energy for Cancer singles? For the month of June. Some of you could be feeling overwhelmed, Cancer, or burnt out. Make sure you're not taking too many responsibilities on your shoulders, honey. You're not saying yes when you don't want to say yes. Let's just see here what's going on. Moon in reverse. Okay. What is going on over here? All right. Well, interesting energy. So we have moon in reverse as your first card. We have the dog, and the writer, and the bouquet of the bottom of the deck, as well as the sun here. So. Hmm, Cancer. I feel like things are definitely going to get more easy for you. Things are definitely going to become more simple, okay? If you've been going through a lot of pressure, if you've been going through a lot of fear, or even if you've been feeling a little bit down or depressed, okay, I do feel like things are going to be lifted. Um, there's a heavy weight here that's being lifted. I feel in regards to your energy. Now, there's something here interesting, which I feel like some of you, either you let a person go and you could be really doubting, did I do the right thing or did I do the wrong thing? And for some reason, I'm here to say that you did do the right thing. I feel like you're getting rid of people that are not coming towards you with good intentions, pure intentions. These could be even friends, okay? It doesn't have to be just lovers or partners. Um, this could be literally anyone. There's just an energy of I am purifying myself and I am cleansing my energy from um, any person who has bad intentions towards me or any person who does not come to me for good reasons, you know, who doesn't want the best for me. Yeah, it's interesting. So you definitely could be very much in this energy of manifesting newness in your life and... Um, manifesting people who appreciate you cancer manifesting you know connections that rather are very fruitful for you people that are able to help you succeed okay people that are as successful as you are or want to help you be better yeah i just feel like you're not <laughs> you're not tolerating any bs anymore it's just like you know what i've had it why do I have to be, let's say, honest or devoted to a person who wouldn't do the same? Why would I, why do I keep being loyal to people that keep letting me down? You know, so yeah, I'm even getting like an obedience energy. Some of you, this is so interesting to me. So I don't know if this has to do with your childhood, but there's a message from the spirit coming through towards you saying, you don't have to go with a particular situation you're not happy with cancer, or you don't have to bow down to someone who would not respect you the same way um, that you respect them. Yeah, it's so interesting I'm hearing that. So we're going to do your um, tarot and see what in the world is going on. I do see new connections coming through, a lot of new energy. Some of you, this also could be new people that are more successful than like people that you dealt with before. So I don't know if this is speaking of like um, you having a different, yeah, like you attracting different energy now. You attracting people that are more well off maybe, that are more stable, more healthy. Something I just heard mentally stable. <laughs> Let me just see what in the world is going on cancer. But yeah, no newness. Newness because I feel like you have that sense of self-respect. You know, it's like, why would I want to go back to that? Or it's like, do I really want to go through that whole situation, whole episode again? I just heard episode. So maybe somebody really made you anxious before. Or they really, I just heard, yeah, they, they had a, they had an effect on you. They had a toll on you. I just heard. Um... But I feel like it's less about them, Cancer, and it's more about you really caring too much about people 
that that don't care the same way towards you. I don't know why I keep getting this. So Ace of Pentacles, beautiful energy. Let's just see what's going on here for Cancer. Something near the full moon could be happening, Cancer, for you. I feel like you're going to be sleeping better, some of you, or your sleeping patterns could be changing. Um, this also is speaking of you taking it more easy on yourself. I keep hearing this. So I don't know if you've been really burning yourself out, Cancer, about something or going along with the situation that you've not been happy with instead of, you know, allowing things to happen. Let's just see. Whew. the energy death in reverse pages Ugh. <laughs> okay there's been a lot of things happening cancer or is it just me what in the world um First of all, Cancer, you better not let someone back in again. Okay, I don't know if there's been a person here that you're like, you're like super giving to, or this also is a, again, this, this is very specific. You take what resonates with you. But there might have been an energy that has not been honest with you, or this also is speaking of the level of loyalty and devotion has not been balanced between you and this person. Even I feel like this person might have been unfair to you. They might have just like cut you off. Or at a certain point, you've really got this impression that this person doesn't care enough or they even like do not respect you the same way. And for some reason, I feel like this person could be coming back in for some of you. Or it's almost like they kind of just leave the door open. So be careful with that, you know? It's like this person could be leaving the door open so whenever it, they feel like it, they'll come back. And I feel like it's not a good energy. Like, don't put up with this energy whatsoever. Because I feel like this is the type of person who would waste your time. They're a big time waster cancer, you know. And they, they're in the hopes of you waiting on them too. Like, I feel like this is their game with that page of swords in reverse. And it's like, you've had it. You've had it, cancer. I mean, I can definitely clarify this. But yeah, this is someone who's not been honest with you, who's been immature, who's not been, yeah, I keep getting this energy like lies or not being super clear about their own intentions towards you. Um, maybe not even also a little bit moody in regards to what they want. Maybe they've been really indecisive. I don't like this energy, Cancer. And I feel like this is not something that you're going to be focused on, but you're moving on from this. Some of you could be really focused on your money right now, Cancer, or just also speaking of what feels good, what feels healthy, what feels um, secure. You know, I feel like that's kind of where you're headed. This also could be people that are more also stable. Um, and the spirit here is telling you this is out of your comfort zone, Cancer. I feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting is right now out of whatever that you've experienced. Like, I feel like this is all new energy, you know? Like, I feel like the energy that's coming through who's gonna be very secure and healthy, the opportunity that's gonna be secure and healthy for you is gonna be something new, like someone that you never know before, um, never dealt with before. This is all new energy, okay? But I'll, I will definitely clarify this. Stop going back, Cancer. Stop going back. There's something about, like, going, you feeling that... Hmm, how do I put this? I don't know if you get drawn back towards a particular person or some of you at nighttime, I also feel like you kind of switch. Um, again, you take it as it resonates, but there's something emotional here. It's like you get kind of drawn back to, towards something that might not be good for you. And the spirit is trying to tell you, hey, don't obsess over something that ended or don't obsess over changing a person who's not um, willing to change, who's not planning to change i just heard planning to change um their plans for you like some of you maybe this person was really not coming towards you with a particular solid offer yeah i don't know i'm getting this okay could we clarify the ace of pentacles and what's going to be happening for cancer spirit any other advice do we have yeah again the star in reverse 
I just heard lost cause in my head. Aries energy, Aquarius, Cancer could be the fool. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, some, somebody's not consistent with you, and I don't like this. I feel like you should move on from this energy. You should not be in the hopes of someone becoming consistent with you when everything they're showing you is completely the opposite. Because I feel like for some of you, this person might have at a certain point really like pursued you or they might have shown you how consistent they can be, but it didn't last. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is so specific. Again, you take it as it resonates, Cancer. Do not try to like force this reading if it's not resonating with you. This definitely could be someone who was not clear with you about their intentions, Cancer, who did not come towards you with a solid intention, with a solid plan, with a solid offer. They might have acted really independent or they might have acted like they don't necessarily want anything more than um, what you two had. Yeah, like I feel like this person might have been really hard to read or it's like you, you could never read them. You could never see how they feel or what they want with you. Okay. And I keep wanting to say, like, stop waiting on this person if you are. And start to put the focus more onto yourself here. But I will do another spread here, Spirit. Um, is there any other messages? Is there another person? Is there a person specifically who's coming towards Cancer for June? Um, can we know before I do oracles for Cancer? Is there a person here who's, who's coming through towards Cancer? And who are they? There could... Okay. Cancer, you ready? There... It could be the same person who want, might want to come back. Yeah, three... See, three of cups in reverse. This could be the same person who's trying to come back towards you. And I feel like you're not going to take them back. There's a certain energy of either you're going to be less interested you're gonna same kind of energy came through reading uh, for Aries that I did as well but there's something about you not feeling tempted by this person and not kind of trusting the kind of energy that they're coming towards you with so I feel like either this person acted like they didn't want anything serious with you and at a certain point, they kept their options open, but I'm just getting a person who's not really consistent with you, who might not even be able to offer you something that you're looking for with a four. Because I feel like you want something very solid, and this message has been coming up a lot in your reading. Like, you could want something really solid and stable. You know, you could want to move in with someone. I feel like even you might have really been open to this person, or you might have been. Um, giving them hints even as you know i want to be in a relationship where we could be in a relationship but for some reason i feel like this person might have not been taking the hints or this is also someone who's not willing to give up their independence or give up whatever type of lifestyle they have right now you know i even feel like for some of you you weren't even exclusive with this person to be honest with you is the message that's coming in Crazy reading. Um, could you tell us more in regards to this energy before I do Oracle Spirit? Is there any other messages in regards to this? Yep. Stop. See, stop investing in people that would not do the same. Stop giving your energy away towards people that do not care cancer, that won't do the same for you. There's something about people taken from you that I don't like to see here. It's like... Either you leave the door open, you let people come back to your life with the same kind of energy, you let people kind of like just come in whenever they wish, you allow things to happen. And the spirit here is telling you, you don't have to allow something you, you're not happy with. You know, you don't have to settle down for something that you're not happy with, basically. Um, yeah, again, there might have been a person who's been really breadcrumbing you or who, who could also love bomb you and then they would draw, withdraw back. Again, watch out I'm telling you i'm telling you right here i don't know how else to put it yeah like 
Spirit here is telling you really pay attention to consistency in your connections, Cancer. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to how much someone's investing in you, how much someone is there, how much someone's spending quality time with you, um, giving to you. Hey. And don't give to someone in the hopes that they will give something to you back. But the message is rather to see their actions, to see whether they're giving as well as you're giving, you know, at the same time. So yeah, with the star in reverse that I saw, it's like, do not be in the hopes that what you're giving will be returned, but rather right from then, right from the get-go, uh, pay attention to the signs, you know, and see everything for what it is, see everything clearly. Yeah, that's so interesting. It's a very, very, like, clear reading. Um, do we have any other messages for Cancer Spirit? Do we have any other messages? Let's go with the spirit animal. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna be moving on from this energy. You're gonna be moving on from this energy. You're gonna even feel like you're better off alone than to deal with this person. I just heard defeated. Somebody could be feeling defeated. But again, like if something happened abruptly, Cancer, if somebody all of a sudden left, I feel like they're gonna come back, but it doesn't mean that you need to take them back. All right, just saying. For our dear Cancer spirit, is there any spirit animal messages for Cancer? Oh boy. Yeah, fox and the snake. You tell me about it. And tarantula. See, I don't like this energy. This is clearly talking about someone who is in and out. Someone who's, you know, starting and stopping. Someone who, you know, come as they wish. They leave as they wish. Some of you, I'm even getting this person could be non-committal. Cancer. Could you clarify this? And I'm hearing they come back because they know you'll take them back. So, again, this is spirit talking. It's not me. Sea serpent and the lizard. Some of you, I still feel like this person might have been wanting to have something sexual with you. Or maybe you've already had something sexual with them. Um, fire energy strongly. As well as water. It makes a fire and water, it could be. But look at all the reptile energy, though. And, you know, the lizard... Um, I'm visualizing somebody who switches colors, somebody who switches images. So yeah, again, there's something about you seeing through someone's actions and not putting up with it. You know, not being manipulated by it, not being affected by it, not taking it. All right, but see it for what it is. Because I feel like a lot of you, Cancer, you're way too nice. You're way too kind. You want to forgive. You want to, you know, give someone another chance. That they might not deserve. Just saying. All right, because deer seem to be it seems to be a very very giving energy and without boundaries. So there's something with boundaries coming up. Just saying. All right. Any angel messages do we have? Yeah, why not? Whew. Boy, isn't this specific? Some of you are also hearing, don't, don't think you could ever change someone. Especially if they're showing you, you know, that they're not going to change. Like, you, you might have seen that somebody cannot change. You can't change someone. So why, why even try? This could have to do with, yeah, being non-committal for some reason. I keep hearing. For our dear Cancer Spirit, is there any angel messages for Cancer? Is there any angel messages we have? Mm. Wow, that's crazy, Cancer. So we have a yes answer and compromise. So for some reason, I feel like Cancer, the only way for you to take a connection back or to give someone a chance is for them to be able to be open to compromising, be open to giving to, be open to actually offering you something solid, Cancer. There needs to be some kind of a balance. There needs to be some kind of a fairness here, which I feel like might have been missing. You know what I mean? And this is also speaking of two people coming together with the same type of energy, with the same type of uh, offer, with the same type of intention. Um, and we have at the bottom of the deck, you know, not the right time and reconsider. 
choose a new direction in a year from now. So I feel like you're going to be redirecting your energy here. Yeah, and you're going to be connecting with people that would be open to you, would give you the same thing you're giving, willing to give, right? And in case you will be interacting with this person again, I feel like you're going to be watching out for the signs and you're going to be seeing, okay, does this person um, offer me the same thing or are they, are they able to rather give to me what it is I'm giving to them or what it is I'm wanting from them? You know, but you're not going to waste your energy. You're not going to drain yourself. You're not going to give yourself away um, to someone anymore for free, if you get what I mean. This is so interesting, though. Not the right time and reconsider. Some of you, I'm going to tell you this. This is something I'm intuitively getting. If you really want for someone to come back to you and they haven't been coming back, it's a timing thing, okay? They might be coming back to you at a certain point. But um, the spirit also here wants for you to rather choose a new direction as well as to reconsider um, in regards to the way you view this person. Again, it could be the same person or someone else. But the spirit here is telling you, trust the way that I'm handling things. The spirit here is telling you, trust the way that things are turning around for you, Cancer. You might not be able to see it now, but you'll be able to see it down the line. Some of you also feel like you're going to be in a completely different position a year from now. Or this also could be speaking of, um, yeah, by like 2025. So again, trust the changes that are happening in your life, Cancer, because I feel like changes happen all the time for a reason. Um, do we have any angel messages for Cancer as a last final message? Do you have any angel messages for Cancer as a final message from the Spirit? Two of action. Trust in your ability to make excellent choices. There's opportunity all around you if you just continue to move forward. It may be time to take on a new partner who can help you be a success in your career. Wow, I was just saying that, wasn't I? Uh, or creative endeavors. Keep your eyes on the big picture rather than the details of the moment. So yeah, the spirit again is trying to tell you that if something's not working, try to not focus on it, try to not obsess over it, but rather focus on the things that are working for you and the things that you do have and be grateful for that because some of you, I'm just here to say like, there might've been something fishy going on in regards to a connection. And I feel like over time, you're going to be able to actually see it more clearly for what it is or see this person clearly for who they are. But um, I keep wanting to tell you there's a reason why something's happening and it could be a blessing in disguise. So yeah, do not resist what, whatever kind of change that is coming through. And yeah, getting strong energy protection, protect yourself, protect your boundaries here. And um, don't put someone on a pedestal. Put yourself here first is the message, all right? Because you deserve the most respect. You deserve the most care and kindness here, Cancer. So this is all I have for you. I feel like there's also going to be a lot of helpful people or um, new energy surrounding you that are going to also give you signs about your pathway and your journey. But um, what a heavenly and very clear reading. It was very, like, different than your last reading. Maybe a little bit more... Um, chaotic <laughs> but i hope it was insightful i hope that this helps you personal readings are being offered if you're interested send me an email it's in the description box i'm sending my kiss mm -hmm. my warm brace and my love and light i'll see you next time bye bye cancer honey take care